What's good with the YouTube, man? It's your boy Rojo with the Convicts Perspective. It's your boy Gunner with the Gunners Collective. Bang, bang. And today, man, we have a special guest. You know, I had to search the land far, far away. So I was going I had to bring you guys something unprecedented, something that doesn't get done quite often. You know, I had to get down and dirty, man. And I had to bring you the homeboy Mateo from Los, you know, a Sureño that is currently incarcerated doing 33 to life, you know. So we kind of want to get into his mentality, get into his mindset and find out what's really going on behind the eyes of a man that's doing time right now in the present day. And man, we're just going to take it from there, man. Roll. I know you got questions, brother. Hey, my boy, Mateo, man. How you doing today, my brother? I'm all right, man. I'm blessed. Good. Good to hear. Good to hear, man. So like Gunnar said, man, you're doing, you're doing a, a 33, man. Is that an LWAP or is... No, you're just out, I just got a, a 32 for life. So still got to go to board and stuff. So, uh, man, if, if, if you feel like answering, man, it's totally up to you. What caught you such a big term, my man? Um, I caught attempted murder. Um, basically, you know how it goes. I lived in my enemy's hood. Uh, it went down, you know, someone got shot bad. And then, uh, yeah, went on the run for like two years and finally got caught up, came to jail, you know, took my bid. How long have you been down so far? I've been down 16 years. It's a nice little chunk, man. I'm sure you've been to a lot of prisons, man. You mind uh, running down a list real quick or what? Yeah, I've been to like, I've been to Caltech, um, been to Lancaster, uh, Tatchby, Pleasant Valley, um, Mill Creek, uh, few prisons you know and, and the one i'm currently in right now got you got you Absolutely. what's up gun yeah so so bro i kind of wanted to take it back man and 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 kind of know your history bro kind of know what led you into gangs i know was it just the surrounding area being from la you know it's all around i know that's in the water out there uh, what what led you down, down that road bro down that path that got you to where you're at right now brother uh no reality uh money you know i wasn't really into the um, cholo scenes or um, the, the, you know the bag pants stuff like that you know I'm not this new generation though where the where they wear skinny jeans and stuff like that right <laughs> but um, I was just really about my money my homies were about the money you know we used to hit licks um, at at the age of like 17 I was already you know living uh, out of my hood really you know and uh, had cars had everything you know and I kind of just got attracted by that because we all had the same mentality and it was just you know getting money so it was kind of different from typical, um, let's just say, LA hoods, because I've been around other LA hoods where they're just gutter, you know, and we're more like trying to do things differently. Exactly, exactly, man. I feel you. And it, there's there's like a misconception, um, you know, where I've heard time and time again, you know, being being an ex Norteño and, and you being a Sureño and hearing that. Man, there's a big difference. Uh, Norteños carry themselves a certain way. Sudanians carry themselves a certain way. Me and you can sit here and have a conversation, and I can see that you're not very different from me, man. What's your perception of Norteños having done time around them? Okay, so I actually got, I got along with Norteños because Norteños, they're about their money. Not really about too much banging, but they do do it. But they're really about their money, paper chasing, like in these yards. I see them. like They're like a little bit different. And it shows because when I'm in the yard with them, you kind of tell who's in the thing. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to be in the mix. They're trying to, you know, do their stuff, you know? And um, Southerners, more, they're more like into the dough, you know? I don't, I, honestly, I had never done drugs ever. Like I never done glass in my life, nothing. I used to smoke weed when I was in the streets. I, don't, I haven't smoked weed in like six, seven years, you know? But that's what, that's basically the difference. Like. I actually get along with them. You know, I don't see, I, like, if I, I vibe better with Norteños than with some homes, you know? Yeah. It'd be like that. Go, ahead, go on ahead, Roll. I know you got a lot of questions, brother. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, so so in your in your experience, man, uh, you know, I know you've been all over, man. What what, what do you think is the, the, the worst place in California that you've done time at and why? Tachapi. Tachapi? 
Yeah. What um, was going on there that made it so bad? I didn't. I'm saying it wouldn't go one yard. We'll be in the yard maybe 10 minutes. It'll go down, you know, and uh, we'll only have yard three times a week. And best believe those three times the yard would go down. Um, I, 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 would, I seen like, you know, I was working out one time in, um, in the yard, in the dirt area, um, doing bars. And um, I looked to my right, who was doing bars with me. Looked to my left, and when I looked back to my right, a dude came through and just stabbed him dead, dead ass in the neck, left it there. This dude was just bleeding out. And that spot is so gangster that you can't really even, like, trip out. You just got to just go along with it. So I just, like, stepped over that dude's body and just kept pushing, you know? But that that prison was by far the, the prison I've been to that had the most violence and more active, you know? Who, who, who was that war? Everybody or was it certain groups? Uh, that time it was uh, the white boys. The white boys uh, did one of them, one of their own. Name. But uh, yeah, it's really not basically war. It's more cleanups. Like you see a lot of cleanups. Like there's really no trash. Like they don't allow trash there at all. You know? Right. But if you have something that's fucked up or something comes up, it's, it, that's your ass. You know, so people that are there are more like solid, more like you, like you could kind of vibe better, you know, because you you know that if you need some type of assistance, dude's going to help you out. You know, he's not going to go and tell on you or, you know, so right. that's basically. So so with this end of hostilities, has it truly been successful in alleviating uh, the violence between North, South, Black, Whites? Most things that are going on are just taking care of stuff in your own backyard kind of thing nowadays, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um... As far as that, you know, it's it's what it is, you know. Can't, got you. Can't really. That, that's all higher up shit, you know. I feel you. Yeah. Quick question. So, let's get into um these active yards, GP yards. Excuse me. Uh, I call them GP yards. Um, because lots of so a lot of these guys aren't really active and functioning like that. But uh, the general population yards and these SNY yards. There's a lot of misconceptions on they're they're totally two different things and. And there's no violence happening over here. These guys in S and Y are all punks and whatever they want to call them. And then over here, GP is solid as they come. Uh, what's the, the misconception? How do you feel um, co the comparison between GP and S and Y? What, what, what's the comparison there? Okay, so it's real easy to answer that because um, the same people they were in the main line, they were running that show, whether it's Carnales, X ex MM members, NF, uh, whatever you want to call it, whoever it was, right? It's the same dudes in the fucking yard. Shit, nothing has changed. It's the same man. You know, you don't clip his balls because he goes to the side. So the violence is there. You know what I'm saying? The gangs are there. Uh, it goes down. I'm saying if you think that if you go to the side and you're not going to lose your life or, or the potential's not there, then you're an idiot, you know? You have to be more on your toes on the other side because the threat is everywhere. It's not just doesn't come from just you fucked up or you owe money or you had a bad car or whatever that you know you got something coming. You might just hit the yard and it's real, real um dudes are really banging. Dude might just get off on you because you shot one of his homies on the streets. Or you can't do that when you're active. When you're active, you, dude might be your funky. He jumps, you jump. Right now, uh, when you're on that side, it doesn't go down like that. You might just be like, you know what? I didn't like the way this, that this guy looked at me this morning. I'm going to take off on him. I'm going to stab him. I'm going to slice him. So that, that's the difference, you know? So it's a little bit, it's, there's really no no difference. I'm saying you still got a toy inside yourself. You still live in a month, man. Like nothing really changes, you know? Other than, yeah, there is trash in this on my side. You know, there's, there is trash. But... I'm saying, in all reality, the whole game is watered down. You know what I'm saying? Mainland is watered down. This shit's watered down. The streets is watered down. It's not the same no more. None of that's just the same. You know? Exactly. Man, I feel the exact same way, the exact same way. You couldn't have spoken it better. Um, so, yeah, people get that misconception. I noticed that a lot, man. You know, the, the whole SMY thing and, 
and that they must think that, uh, oh, these guys are functioning amongst these. But I, I, in my past history, man, there's a lot of trash on the GP too. So ain't nothing, ain't nothing to it but to do it. So, man, so how, being a man that's doing this long, how were you able to come to terms with that, brother? Because it looks like, you know, when we got on here, you had a smile before, you know, you put your mask on and me and you were talking and you seem like you, you're, you you know, I mean, you're just running with it, bro. Is it something that you just, you know, just, hey, you just got to deal with it or something that you just embraced and like, man, that's what my life is now? Um, I'm like this, right? What I do is I try to chase money. You know, people that know me, in these yards, that's what I do. So to me, yeah, I'm in here, but as long as I can take care of my business or my personal things on the streets, whether it's my, if I have kids, I'm not going to get too, too much into my personal life, you know, but if I have kids or my parents or whatever, and I'm able to take care of them, and I'm in here and I'm able to like, you know, either to buy cars and sell them or, or maintain myself and not really have nothing to worry about, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm in jail, I don't pay rent, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to pay rent to another man. That's for damn sure, you know? So as long as I'm like, you know, I have my money and I, I'm I'm at peace, you know, I'm not really worried about it. You know, the way shit's going, um, seems like everybody's gonna get some type of shot, you know? And right now I'm just building, um, building myself to get out, you know? Get out to something. I'm not just, I'm not trying to get out to nothing or just be get out being broke and, and not have anything. Like, I know if I get out today, I'm gonna be all right. I know if I get out today, I might have a better car than most of these motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? So that, that's the thing. And, right. and a lot of people think like, they might see this video and be like, oh, that was cappy. But the people that know, know, you know what I'm saying? The people that I, that they know who I am, they know, you know, and, and that's, that's what, that's what I care about. I really don't care about other people thinking whatever the fuck they're thinking, you know? Absolutely. Where I'm at, I'm good. That's right, brother. Go ahead, Rojo. Say, hey, um. So as far as like you were talking about there being like trash on yards, whatever, no matter what kind of yards they are, like uh, as far as like the S and Y goes where there's probably quite considerably more, you know what I mean? Especially the, let's just call them weirdos. Yeah. How are they, how are they treated in there to your understanding? Do they get, are they tending to be more victimized and extorted and things of that uh, nature? Yeah. I'm saying people think that. That they're living them that yeah they are living here, but they're not living like motherfuckers ain't self love with them, motherfuckers ain't, ain't cool with them. You're spreading with them. You're not, you know what I'm saying? Being cool with them. You're slapping these fools around too, you know? Like if, if people they have money, they're gonna get extorted. You know what I'm saying? If you know whatever, I don't do that shit because I I don't need it, you know. But as far as myself, I just don't associate with myself with these dudes. You know what I'm saying? It's just like being in the streets. You're in the streets, dudes trash or or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You can go to the right, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to be in their face. You don't have to be right there uh, dealing with these idiots, you know? So that's the thing. They, they get victimized. They It's worse for them here, you know what I'm saying? But shit doesn't change. Nothing changes. That's what, what, what people think that, oh, well, dudes on the other side, what the fuck's that mean? You know what I'm saying? Dudes still going through it, you know what I'm saying? I see people get slapped on the daily, you know what I'm saying? Just for that, you know, getting beat up. People want to leave. Guess who do they choose first? Let me just fucking do this chomo. You know do saying? a good Those deed real quick before I go. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? Right. And people applaud it. You know that's what it is. It, it's not. It's not what people think that that you're just living with them and you're just comfortable with them. No, they're still trash. You know what I'm saying that's just what it is. Hey, I got a question, man. A lot of our fans ask it, ask us this, and I don't really have no knowledge of it. What about the gay boy gangsters? Are they around like they say? Are they small? Is there quite a bit of them? What do you what what has your experience been? So gay boy gangsters are in medical facility. That's basically where they're at because a lot of them are transgenders or whatever the fuck they are, you know? Right. So they can't go anywhere. They can't go to every yard. None of that. Most of them take pills, shit like that. So they have to, they're only like in three different um prisons. But they are there, you know, and they do do what they do, whatever the fuck that means. You know what I'm saying? But right. Um, in the end of the day, they're men too. You know, I'm yeah. saying, do put some lipstick on. I'm saying the dude's still a man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And a lot of people just stay away from that. I'm saying because you're not trying to go out to the yard to get beat up by a fucking brutal. Because then you're not the fucking kill this motherfucker. You know I'm saying you just can't have yeah. that in your jacket where you try to get brave with a fucking chomo right. or a gay dude and he fucks your ass up. You know? Right. So you just stay yeah. away from that shit. 
Exactly. Yeah, that's why our policy as Northerners was never to even mess with them because in the event that that dude, man, puts you on your back real quick, you're oh, never going to be able to redeem yourself, you exactly. know? Yeah. Exactly. I, I got another quick question, brother. So, um, you know, being a Sureño and being from L.A. and and, and like you said, vibing with Norteños, um, what is it like to see Baltos that – were Norteños and Vatos that were Sureños like selling up together, Vatos kicking it. Is it a did it trip you out at first, or was it just a man is a man and that's that's that? I'm saying, yeah, that's what's coming down to, you know, a man and uh, just two men living together, you know, like like I said, like if you're able to come in here and jump for your enemy that was trying to kill you in the streets, I'm saying, what's the difference between selling over the two that's from? Or Northern Cali that you never get met, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what people have. Sometimes they trip out, like they feel like this that because we're Southerners, certain Northerners, stuff, we automatically hate them. We're in LA, we don't even never even see no Northern. You know what I'm saying? We have no beef with Northerners. We have more beef with homies in that in, in our area. You know what I'm saying? I really hate dudes from my area. You know, we're really hated by dudes from our area. Dude from up north, I'm saying 15 hours away from me. Why? Where's the hate at? You know what I'm saying? Why should I hate? Why should I hate this man? I don't even know him. I don't even know anything of him. I don't even know nothing about his hood. I don't even really know nothing about his culture. I'm learning it as we go. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And yeah, I think that's a big misconception. It's always been uh, the the difference with the the lacing up in the education is where Sudanians are more about their neighborhoods, more about their homeboys that are around them, and just doing their own thing, making their money or whatever the case may be, gang banging. Whereas Northeños are laced with. Sureños are the enemy. Sureños are the enemy. You know what I mean? And it's constant where we were out there just constantly. Was, our life was based on representing and looking for Sureños to handle business. So it's just a whole different mentality, man. Every every Sureño that I've talked to tells me the exact same thing, man. We weren't worried about you guys. You know what I mean? And yeah. we, it seems like we were the ones more worried about you worrying about us and you guys weren't even tripping, you know? It's just well, even, even when it comes down to like the Southerners up north, like sometimes we see them as weird you know like we don't we they're like kind of offering to us you know that we're not like like when i hear like oh what's up you're, uh i'm a southerner or the way they come off you know like oh i'm a fucking southerner be like okay like to us like where are you from from fucking san jose whatever who good the gang he's from you know and be like all right cool you know i never heard of that shit but all right whatever but they're coming with the extras you know what i'm saying they're still trying to wear their big ass pants and like they're like a cholo, like from the '90s in LA, you know, where where we have to, um, we have to kind of adapt to the to the environment because if you dress like that in LA, you're gonna get killed, you know. There's no fools are not even gonna ask you where you're from. If you dress like a southerner up north, and you come to LA, they're gonna kill you. They're just point blank. They're just gonna smoke you because people ain't playing like that, you know. They don't. They're not even gonna bang on you. So if you're not looking, trying to look, look like a square or like if you sell insurance where you could wiggle, I'm saying, you know, that they're going to fill your way back and, and people need to, it's just, it's different, you know, it's just different. Exactly. Another, another quick question, brother. Um, Since you've been, you've been down 16 years, man, that that's, you know, half past a decade and you've seen a lot of different trends. You've saw, seen a lot of different movies, a lot of different things happen. What has happened from when you first got incarcerated to this new generation now? I call them the Holta generation, the skinny jean generation. Are you starting to see, is that becoming prevalent where these youngsters are coming in and they're just different, bro? Watered down? Oh. Uh, or Some homies are, they. I'm saying now the motherfuckers are even saying cuz, you know? Like, nigga, they say nigga, all this other stuff, right? I'm saying, I'm, I don't I don't knock that because I sometimes say it, but it, Dudes, more um, they sound more like Crips than anything. You know what I'm saying? And it's weird now. You know, like they're like act more black now. I'm saying little skinny jeans. It's just watered down. The whole game is fucking watered down. It's like it's there's no point to banging anymore. You know what I'm saying at all? You know, if it's not about money, shit's just done. You know, and I think they're starting to see it too because uh, now like the the rules are not the same. You know what I'm saying? Like. All this into hostility, all this other stuff. It's, they're doing all this shit for a reason, because they're losing a lot of soldiers. You know, can't cannot you can't afford to keep doing what you used to be doing when the soldiers are not the same. 
You know, fools are folding down like in uh in in, in as soon as they get busted in the station. You know what I'm saying? They get busted. Oh, uh, got busted for a murder. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna tell him this guy, and I'm gonna give you a few murders from these other dudes. And it's done. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not the same. Dudes ain't built the same no more. I agree, man. Go ahead, Raul. Oh man, dude. So, uh, what do you think? Uh, honestly, your chances are of, of touching down on on the free world again, my man. Um, they're looking good. Um, actually. Actually, um, I wrote to uh, to this new DA. They wrote me back, and um, it's looking good. Like, but in the, the day, like I'm gonna still do what I do, and you know what I'm saying. My time will come, you know. My so, would you say come. you're optimistic or pessimistic? Mm, I'm optimistic. I, I good, think that, good, good. that um, I'm saying since I've been here, they already took like 15 years out of my term. You know, so when that, and that's without me not even trying. That's just these new laws that be passing and all that. So it's looking good. You know, I'll touch you, down. You still have stuff in the court right now, appeals and things of that nature, or are you yeah. uh, more like with the change of laws and stuff like that? Well, both. You know, I still yeah. have a I have a lawyer working on my case still. I'm already in the feds, and um, you know, all the laws are changing. You know, all the laws are changing, so it's looking good. Yeah, man. That's wonderful, bro. That's wonderful to hear. You know, one day everyone will get their time to shine. You know, I got a brother that's actually uh, doing the exact same thing you are, man. He's playing the waiting game. And he's just continuing to live day by day. You just got to do what you do. You're a man at the end of the day, man. You're going to continue to look out for you and, and, and maintain your safety and security. Um, one of the main questions I wanted to ask you, bro, was, and it's asked a lot by my viewers, by a convict's perspective viewers is, all this integration we're hearing between SNY yards and all these different, you know, uh, factions of gangs they got going on there. I don't want you to elaborate and speak on those. Leave them for, the, for where they're at. But what's going on with this? I'm hearing that they're, they're starting to basically uh, mix and mingle. They're, they're putting them on these uh, GP yards again. They are. Um, that's just what it is. Not What they're talking about now is they're going to make program yards and non-program yards. That's the new shit they're trying to do. And um program yards are dudes are just mixed up that don't care they want to go home non-program yards are going to be sureños norteños sny gangs are all going to put them together and just you know <laughs> let it rumble let's see how it goes you know so that's what the cc is trying to do right now because they already they already did them in the level ones twos all that shit you know so they're they're creeping up to the level threes you know and eventually that's what they're going to do they're, that's what they're talking about so they basically, basically segregate them. It's still going to be some type of segregation, but basically get all the, the, the guys that are still want to be active and they function and put them all in Gilligan's Island, let them kill each other off. It is what it is. And the guys that are really about going home and really programming, whether it be GP or SMY are going to be together and vamanos. Do you have thing. to understand that if you have 40 years to life yeah. and um, they tell you, Hey, do you want to consider this yard and go home and, 10, 15 years, or you want to go over there and, and, and just risk your life and you might get smoked. You know what I'm saying? And with people seeing hope, when I first came to jail, there was no hope whatsoever. You had life, you just had life, and you just had to deal with it. Get a cell phone, bro, and kick back in your bed and try to knock a bitch because that's all that's all there is to it. Now you see lifers go home, like you see dudes put in some, you know, take some punk ass classes, whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then boom, they go to board, they get the nights, come back, take some more classes, go home. So why not? You know what I'm saying? Like, why not? Why not? To me, I'm like, why can't I just take classes? Why well, turn the phone? And then, you know what I'm saying? Wiggle my way the fuck out of here, you know? Exactly. Still do you, but do just enough to get on down the road, man. I, I, I agree. That's, the, that's how I live. That's my life model too, bro. You know what I mean? I'm going to continue to do me, but if I have to wiggle a little bit to get up, man, that, that, that's just the way it's going to be, you know? Uh, exactly. Man, hey, so we appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you, man. I know when you tapped in with me and uh, we started conversating, man, you agreed to do this. Not a lot of people, man, have the balls and have, you know what I mean? We'll put their story out there and we're really, you know, especially from an undisclosed location like where you're at, man. I feel your plight, brother. I've been there and done that, man. Um, I can't say that extensively in years, but, man, I, I know where you're at, you know. Um, is there anything you got to say to Ro? I really appreciate you, bro. Gracias. Yeah, man. Just uh, likewise, bro, man. Keep your head up, man. You, man, you'll be out, bro. You got the right attitude, man. Do them classes that white folks want you to do. You know what I mean? 
make them smile and man, get the hell out of there. Stay out of that mix, man. You already know what's up, bro. You got a good head yeah. on your shoulders. Cause uh, man, we need you on the streets, man. No, you don't need to be in there, bro. You're not that kind of a dude. I could tell just in this little 20 minutes, man, you, you'd be better off out here, bro. So man, keep, keep your head up, bro. And, and do the things that need to be done, man, that then people want to see you do, bro. You know what I'm right. saying? That, that That's all, bro, man. I appreciate you jumping on here. You got a good head on your shoulders, bro. And just thank you. And man, keep safe in there. And, and that's about it, my man. But thank you above, above and beyond everything else, man. All right, bro. Yes, sir. Any, yes, sir. Any, any, brother, to you any, any, anything you want to say in closing, bro? You any? I mean, I know you're not trying to say, say too many details, but positive message, negative message, it doesn't matter. Anything you got just, to say, bro. Just stay solid wherever you're at. Where streets here, wherever, stay solid. That's it. That's right, my brother, man. I appreciate you, no doubt. Gracias, bro. That's my tail right. from Walsh right there, ladies and gentlemen. A real one, no doubt. Have a, have a good afternoon, YouTube.